I was like, wow, Annie, your title's a little aggressive. How I am so much more mature than you. Michael. Stop. Oh my god. You don't do that to my camera. <laughs> it's new. Stop being difficult. Hi guys, this is my brother Michael, and his birthday is today, which is super exciting. He is going to be 16. People always say he looks older than he is. Are you excited for your birthday? Yeah. Do you and your brother know each other's crushes or secrets? Do you want to answer this one? Um, I know hers. Yeah, Michael doesn't share anything. It makes me so annoyed. I've cried multiple times about it. I always tell Michael about my crushes and I ask him for advice. And he's just like, you don't need advice. He's like, just be cool. Be yourself. And if likes yourself, then it should work out. What's the stupidest thing you have thought about? I think it's the iPad. But before I had a phone, we had the blue iPad, which is our new iPad. Me, Michael, and my sister Chan would always fight over that iPad. Remember when I cut Chan's sports bra because she clawed me for the iPad? <laughs> yeah, the iPad it creates a lot of drama. How does your brother feel about his sister being a YouTube influencer? By the way, love you. Aw, thank you. It's kind of tough living in her shadow all the time, but... You know, it's fine. I feel like I'm living in your shadow. Everyone agree thinks you're so cool. Fine, we can agree that Chen's living in our shadow. Ah! Chen is not thriving. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the favorite child? More privileges and less chores. That's hard because Obvi me It's obviously Annie. She's he gets trouble less though. I think because I'm the youngest, maybe they expect less of me, but he never gets in trouble. You're always the one getting mad at mom, not mom. Because I'm a good kid. I am a pretty good kid. Annie's never done a chore in her life. That's not true. Because she's still too young. That's not true. Oh my <laughs> gosh. But I'm that person that always runs away. My family gets so mad at me. Who's your favorite YouTubers besides me? He doesn't even watch my videos. That's not true. Like, are you ADHD? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you sure you want me advertising for other YouTubers? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I watch my boy Richie Lee, fellow Asian. On the tube. And men's fashion. <laughs> What's that? And he watches teaching men's fashion. He's gonna deny it, but I've walked in on him so many times. Like, how to style plaid shirts. I've seen you. I'm like, how to style scarves. <laughs> I'm just being honest. You watch him more than you watch Richie Lee. I don't watch that anymore. I guess people change in the span of a week. <laughs> I'm putting that in the thing. <laughs> you want it to be raw and authentic, right? That's raw and authentic. What's your favorite thing to do in the summer? Probably go to summer camp with Annie. Yes, we go to Christian summer except, camp together. He's too old now. Year. I always tried to talk to Michael. <laughs> On the first day of sleep at my camp, we made a plan to meet up and hang with each other for the free period. And he goes paint balling with his friends. This is my first day of camp. I don't have that many friends. I try to meet him at the beach. He's not there. I spend the rest of the period crying in the locker room. Room. I'm sorry that I made friends and you didn't. We made a plan. I sacrificed all the people waiting in line to be my friend for you. What's your favorite TV shows? I'm watching Friends at the moment. He has a Central Park t-shirt. But I'd say The Office is my favorite. The Office yeah. makes me so sad. Because it makes me think, what if I end up like this in my future? <laughs> like, you know the guy with the glasses? Or like the couple that wants to be together but can't or something? The gym and the other lady? Like the only two normal people in the office? <laughs> Pam. Are you going to college? No, I'm going straight to the NBA. That's my plan. Okay, he's going to a summer school for Harvard to get ready to go to the NBA. And I think I'm going to college. I what do you mean you think? Uh, you have to go to college. I am going to college! <laughs> Fine! Favorite sibling fun time together? That's hard. I like the funnest times we have together like making fun of our parents. So probably that. Do y'all think you've grown more together or apart as you've gotten older? This is hard because we used to share a room and he couldn't get away from me. Now, so many times this year I've cried to Michael about our relationship. I tried so hard with him but he just doesn't reciprocate the same feelings. I ask him for advice. I ask him how his life is and he's like, I play sport. Good for you. I mean, I still think that we're close. We've never been like, I do think that we're a little less close than before when we shared a room because Michael is not trying as hard as he should be trying. Are you ever jealous of each other? <laughs> I'm definitely jealous of Michael. I've talked to you about this before. I, I'm such an emotional person. There's no reason to be. You are just as good. I am a cancer, which means I'm very pessimistic or just, I can sometimes look at the world in a not positive way and I'm working on that. But Michael is just, he's smart, he's good at sports and he's also musical. And I try all three 
three of them. You're all three of them. No, those but two. it's so hard to like excel. And I feel like Michael excels in every single one of them. So I'm always like, why can't it be like Michael? I've been trying to resist that. But I definitely think that I'm more jealous of him than him like jealous of me. You have your own thing going. Do you think you're ever jealous of me? Yeah, I wish I had 50k subscribers. You can start like a men's fashion channel. Who's older and who acts older? He's obviously older. I still think he acts older. I make really irrational <laughs> <laughs> I'm older. You can just tell when we're in a group together. Michael, he's the type of person in a group where he won't like make himself the center of attention, but he'll like say sly jokes or things that people find funny, and I'm straight up just like childish. You only act mature on YouTube. That is not true. I act mature with my friends. We have deep talks. <laughs> How did your brother feel such react to you starting a YouTube channel and how does he feel about it now? When did you make your first video? Like six years ago? It was like four years ago. It was my front walkover video. Me and him actually filmed a video for like Father's Day. And he <laughs> pretended to be the- He played the role of my dad and I played the role of my mom. And we used my American Girl doll as the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jung, maybe you would like to hold it. <laughs> that was the birth of Annie Long. There was also Chen and Michael. <laughs> then the future came. He's always been very supportive. Yeah, from the beginning. How do you feel about it now? Or what do you think is the difference between how you felt about it and how you feel about it now? Well, at the beginning, <laughs> kind of a joke. <laughs> One Direction poster in the background. My YouTube channel used to be called The Weird Cheer Gal. <laughs> I used to do cheerleading, all star in town, and I loved it so much, so I was called The Weird Cheer Gal. And I feel like that fit me pretty well. I should probably change it back to The Weird Cheer Gal. <laughs> or just Weird Gal. I think that's good. Is your relationship with each other the same as it was before you started YouTube? Honestly, I think it was. Or, yeah. I mean, we're both developing because we're still in that teenage years, so we really can't tell what it would be like, but I really think it's the same. I don't think YouTube has ever got in between our relationship. Like, Michael doesn't really talk to me about my YouTube channel. My sister, she watches every single video and she's always like, how much money are you making now? <laughs> and Michael's a little bit more, like, chill about it. Like, I don't think you find the process or, like, videos that interesting, YouTube in general. I think you just use it to know how address <laughs> what the heck <laughs> you spend like three hours a day editing this. i'm working hard if you were trapped in a room together who would be the first to get out oh my gosh definitely michael if we were in an mm. escape room he would definitely get out first try to get out what is it i don't know how about this dude get out? Michael would definitely get out first. I feel like you're more observant and just more like aware of your surroundings. I feel like I'm very just like, oh my god, I'm freaking out. Let's call the police. And I feel like Michael would look around the room for clues and stuff. What's the best memory with Annie? Um, I'm really bad at thinking back into the past. I have some pretty good memories. What's one of them that you think about that you like? Gonna wait here until you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably you singing with the microphone that dad really wanted you to use. Yeah, like, I'll insert Wow, a video I got this new microphone. <laughs> Very good sound. I'll insert a video of me singing. It's weird because Michael will be like playing like an instrumental for a song and I'll just come in and start singing. So we play a lot of music together, which is fun. And he always plays my piano pieces and it annoys me so much. Do you watch her YouTube videos? I'm petty about this one. <laughs> he judges me before he even watches them. Like my mature video, he was like mocking me on that. And I'm just like, did he even watch the video? And he's like, not yet. Yeah, not yet. I'll watch all of them one day. You should tell them about the jokes you made. <laughs> like just tell them, like literally. <laughs> I was like, wow, Annie, your title's a little aggressive. How I am so much more mature than you. I'd reach for watermelon or something. He'd be like, are you sure you're not too mature to eat watermelon? Like, mm. Oh, they were funnier than that. Oh my gosh. What's your favorite vacation together? We're going to China this summer, and Chen's not going to be there. So. Do you like Hawaii? Yeah. But he except, literally synced his phone in Hawaii. Except my phone died. He is super responsible, but he has gone through three phones. Like, it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> you tell The first me. phone, we were in Hawaii. There was a beach right next to our hotel. We went out. The water was looking extra thick. 
that day, the sun was shining. I had my phone in my pocket. I didn't really feel it because they were kind of loose at the time. Because, you know, I wasn't big yet. <laughs> And then I just ran into the water, chilled in the water for 10 minutes before I finally realized my phone is still in my pocket. Yeah, I remember he was, he was like feeling his pants <laughs> and he just I runs like... out. <laughs> it was too late for the rice to save it. Oh. And then the second one, after I sunk my old phone, it was an iPhone 6. I got my mom's old iPhone 5. And then my mom made me fill up the gas for her one day. And I, I put the phone like up against the car to like watch like a video while I was filling up the gas. And then after I put the gas nozzle back, I completely forgot about the phone. And then I just went back into the car and then we drove off. And then the phone was still on the window of the car and then it fell off. I realized I left it on the window. And then we went back to the gas station and we saw the phone in the middle of the road. You could have got to it. Smushed in. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was, it, it was still alive. It there. was still alive. And then right when I was about to go after it, mom a car came. No. I feel like you could have actually gotten it, but since you hesitated when mom said no, <laughs> you didn't get there in time. But I mean, it's good that you stayed and safe. And then a car came, and I watched it run over, and it shattered. It's okay, Michael. I've never wrecked a phone, A, eh? But I've wrecked a lot of people's dreams and expectations. <laughs> All right, so this isn't a question that anyone gave us, but it's a question I have for you. What are your reaction to, you know, my workout video that did pretty well? A lot of people are commenting that you're cute. What are your thoughts on that? I forget the name of the Asian rapper, but they said you look like this person. I searched him up and they're like Asian, an Asian rapper? rapper. I'm also an Asian rapper. Uh, what are your and thoughts? And spit a beat for me. What are your thoughts on that? Very flattered, Annie Longsters. <laughs> what the? Has Annie ever made you feel awkward or embarked in front of your friend slash crush? Yep. In a crazy situation, who is the most calm? You have to think about this one. It's definitely you. I call yeah, the police when I'm nervous. Whenever Annie sees a police car, she waves to it just just to check in, just to get a mental check in. Uh, you know just what? for the officer to tell her everything's all right. Have you guys ever had crushes on each other's friends? Do they know how old I am? Michael's 16 and I'm going to be 13. So Michael's definitely not had a crush on one of my friends. I've never had a crush on one of Michael's friends, but I thought that some of them are cute. One of my friends think one of your friends is cute. Which one? I can't disclose that. What? You can't disclose that? What does that mean? Is it me and me? Michael, who is it? Who is it? Who I think I have to go to practice now. What? Don't change. Don't get an excuse. Who is it? Who likes my friend? Okay guys, that was my brother tag. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked seeing my brother. He was actually pretty comfortable on camera. He's kind of new to it, but I'm really glad that we got to film this and yeah, have okay, now get out of my room. <laughs> Wait, leave like so much and subscribe. <laughs> Bye guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.